Toto Samzu. Welcome to JLo's So Hot, So Tasty Kitchen. This is my playground. Thanks for joining me. Have you ever prepared Chamorro Chicken Curry? Hang with me as I share with you how I prepare that dish. Come on in and let's see what type of ingredients we have to prepare Chamorro Chicken Curry. All right, so all the ingredients that we have to prepare that dish we have lots of savory seasonings like black pepper, onion powder, we have salt to taste, we also have garlic powder, we have our chicken curry powder, garlic, cornstarch, we have onions, carrots, chicken, we have some potatoes, we also have oil, coconut milk, and we're gonna need some water. All right, so to begin preparing more chicken curry, I have my heat on medium high. We're gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of oil. That's one, two, and three. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our onions, which I have one large onion. And we're gonna add our minced garlic, which I have about six cloves. Now we can go ahead and give that a stir and allow the onions to cook until it becomes translucent. Then we're gonna add our next ingredient. All right, the onions have become translucent. Now we are going to add chicken. I am using um, three pounds of boneless, skinless, chicken thighs, which I cut up into about medium-sized bites. Now it's really good to use um, chicken that is that has bone in. So cutting up a whole chicken is also uh, another uh, great protein chicken to use. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix that well. Um, continue to stir it, and then we're gonna add our ingredients. So, next we're going to add one tablespoon of garlic powder. We have one tablespoon of onion powder. We have half a teaspoon of black pepper. We have one tablespoon of salt. Now you can adjust to taste at the end. And also it's uh, your preference if you like to use that. So let's go ahead and give that a stir. Combine all that ingredients together. Alright, so that's all combined well. We are going to add our chicken curry um, powder mix, which this is about four tablespoons. Alright, let's go ahead and give that a stir. Combine well, and then we will add our next ingredient. Looks like it's uh, all mixed in. Now we are going to add nine cups of water. So this measuring cup is about four cups. Okay, 
Okay, so that's four. Go ahead and about eight cups. And then I'm just gonna add one more cup to this. Okay. So that's about nine cups. Now you can also add more water. Um, if you like a soupy, because we will be making a slurry to make this thicker. So we're gonna go ahead and stir this and combine it well. And we're going to bring this to a boil. Now if you're using the uh, chicken with bone in, you would have some fats um, rising to the top of this water, you're gonna have to skim off the fats on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and allow this to come to a boil and we will check back in about 20 minutes. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes that we allowed this to cook and it has started to boil. Next, we are going to add our carrots. Now, this is about five pieces of carrots, um, about two cups. And add that there. And then we are going to add our potatoes. This is about three pounds of potatoes, um, already cleaned and cut, put in cold water to avoid the potatoes to be brown. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the pot as well. All right, we're just about done placing all our potatoes in the pot. Now let's go ahead and give it a stir. All right, so we are going to cover this and allow it to boil and cook for the next 10 to 15 minutes. All right, while we wait for our chicken curry soup to come to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our uh, slurry. This is a thickening agent for our uh, curry. We're gonna go ahead and add half a cup of cornstarch. And then we are going to add one cup of coconut milk. Shake that well. So it's about one cup. All right, so we're just gonna add this to the cornstarch. And we're going to give it a stir until the mixture is smooth and there's no clumps in it. All right, 
side looks smooth. There's actually no clumps. And we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. And this will be our last um, ingredient that we add to our chicken curry. Okay, let's set that aside and All right, 20 minutes has come to an end. Let's go ahead and give this a stir. You know, we got vision that we can see our food, right? So I, only they invented a smell of vision so you guys can smell how great this aroma is. Now we're gonna go ahead and give our potato and our carrots a poke to see if they are soft enough and it has poked through. Now let's go ahead and try our carrots. It has done its so, which means it is already cooked. Now we are going to add the next ingredient, but before we do that, let's go ahead and lower our heat down to medium low. Now the last ingredient we're gonna put in is our slurry that we have prepared earlier. We're gonna go ahead and give it another uh, stir. Now as we add this to the curry, we are going to slowly add it in and at the same time we are going to stir. Alright, so go ahead and start pouring and then constantly stirring because it, it will thicken quickly. see the curry has thickened now that's optional if you want your curry to be thick you can have it soupy but <clears throat> it's really great when it's thick so go ahead and stir this really well and we are going to allow it to come to a slight boil and then we will turn off our heat so I would say about Give it about a minute or two and we'll turn off our heat and see how our dish is coming along. See the thickness. Let's go ahead and cover this and then um, check back in about a minute. All right, let's go ahead and check our curry. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our heat as it has slightly come to a boil. Go ahead and give this a stir. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment below, give me your thoughts about this dish. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, make sure to share with your family and friends. Hit that bell to turn on your notifications to get my next video upload. Thanks for joining me here at JLo's So Hot, So Tasty Kitchen. In the meantime and in between time, stay healthy, be 
Be encouraged and be blessed. Much love, J-Lo.